Welcome to the enthralling paradise that India proudly calls Odisha. Flowing through the veins of Odisha is a thriving and pulsating culture of India. The stone sculptures found here eloquently narrate the historical legacy of the nation. Odisha's temple culture is a magnificent reflection of the grand temple architectural essence of India. Be it the center for Lord Jagannath Temple at Puri or the Vishwanathan Temple of Kanak or the deep caves or the Buddhist monastery. the vibrant folk paintings of the weavers handsome nachi odisha sings with pride a ballad sung with the richness of a living past and dynamism of a flourishing present the image of the four part of an elephant at dolagiri the earliest rock art sculpture the temples of odisha are characterized by profuse decorations exquisite carvings and ornamentations that radiate the artist's inner love and dedication odisha is known for its own form of classical odisha dan and music originating from the temple dances of devdasi or mahari the graceful dances mentioned in scriptures and depicted in sculptures a few examples are as sambalpuri gumra ranapa koya gadaba etc odisha handicrafts artisans scattered all over the state has made odisha a fabulous market of souvenirs and mementos Varieties are many, as stone work, woodcraft, applique work, paper mache, and a lot more. Odisha is also famous for its own pita, mahaprasad, a special variety of food items put by unique steaming process, is offered to the deities in some temples like Sri Jagannath Temple at Puri and Ananta Vasudeva at Bhuvaneshwar, and then sold to the peoples. But today we want to take you on a journey to the life of the tribal families of Odisha which consists of which consists of 62 tribes in total now my friend sakshi will treat you to the simplistic yet authentic life of the tribals of Odisha thank you welcome to my home and people in Odisha Odisha has a large concentration of tribal population 62 tribes who mostly inhabit the jungle and hilly region with wide distribution The Koraput, Pulbhani, Kalhandi, Ganjam, Konjar, Derkanal and Mayurbhanj area they enjoy their lives to dance and music it's of Odisha mostly important tribal groups are Santal Jang Jung, Saura, Bonda, Pond, Paraja, and Koya. Would you like to know about what we eat here in the forest? Well, Aditi and her friends will give you a taste of our food. Today, I am going to present to you the tribal food of Odisha. Tribal food of Odisha, simple yet delicious. Tribal diet. Tribal children here have traditionally been eating tubers. variety of mushrooms and the bamboo shoots custard apple wild leafy vegetables wild grains wild fruits which are collected from the forests itself next slide let's talk about the wild tubers which are very common among the different tribal communities the tubers are sticky and palatability is mostly similar to any other tuber crops example potato yam or colocasia different kind of tubers found are pit kanda soranda kanda taragai kanda cheranga kanda sikka kanda pita kanda mitni kanda kasha kanda and kuya kanda of the nutrition from the forest food tubers are mostly consumed as carbohydrates it can reduce the risk of heart disease Stun the onset of cancer and is good for the gut. My friend Rachit will show the two recipe cards of two very famous dishes: the aloo piyaja bhaja and my favorite dish called rasmara. Yeah, over to you, Rachit. Hello, friends. My name is Rachit. Today I am showing Godi's famous food, aloo bhaja and rasmara recipe, and their nutrition value. This is the recipe ingredients. and how to making the recipe was burned ingredients 1 cup moong dal 200 g 
sugar 200 g salt 1 4 tablespoon baking powder 1 pinch refine all 500 ml water as per requirement nutrition value of wasbara diet fiber 8 g carbohydrates 20.5 g sugar 2.9 g protein 8 g alu bhaja ingredients 3 potato medium size 6 tablespoon butter oil half tablespoon salt 1 4 tablespoon turmeric powder tablespoon chili powder nutrition value of alu bhaja energy 220 kilo protein 2.7 gram carbohydrates 35.2 gram fiber 2.8 gram my friends already and some will present uh, a video of these two dishes savory and sweet dishes thank you all of you मोरा नाम अदिति पांडे आउ मु क्लास 4 डी रे पढ़े आउ आज मु अपना को आलू प्याज भाजा बनाईबा सिखाईबे चलन तू देखीबा ओरिसा रा आलू प्याज भाजा रेसिपी तो अब देखते हैं हमको आलू प्याज भाजा के रेसिपी के लिए क्या-क्या इंग्रेडिएंट्स चाहिए तेल प्याज सूखी लाल मिर्च हल्दी लाल मिर्ची पाउडर नमक, जीरा, राई और आलू। तो अब मैं बताऊंगी हम आलू की आजा भाजा की रेसिपी कैसे बनाते हैं। तो सबसे पहले हम एक पैन लेंगे और उसको गैस पे गरम होने के लिए रखेंगे। कढ़ाई गरम हो गई है। अब हम इसमें दो चम्मच तेल डालेंगे। तेल गरम हो गया है। अब हम इसमें थोड़ा सा राई डालेंगे। हम इसको अब थोड़ा सा चलाएंगे। अब हम इसमें हमारी सूखी लाल मिर्च डालेंगे। अब हम इसमें अपनी प्याज डालेंगे। हम इसको थोड़ी देर चलाएंगे। हम इसको एक मिनट के लिए और इसमें आलू डालेंगे। हम इसको और एक मिनट चलाएंगे। Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Kumar and I study in Pomos D. I welcome you all to my kitchen. Today I am going to make a recipe called Rasbara. This dish is famous in the western part of Odisha. So now let us see the ingredients that my friend Rajit explained to you all. This is Bundal which I have stoked it in the water for at least 4 hours. This is sugar syrup. This is cardamom powder and this is salt. So first we have to grind this into a fine paste. So now let us grind it. So now our paste is ready and also I have added a pinch of salt while grinding. So now we have to deep fry it into small balls. So now our oil is ready and now we are going to start the process of deep frying. So now we are going to take small portions of the batter. And now we are going to put it in. A 
now let's slide one more ball into the oil. One more. And last. So our golden brown dal balls are ready. So now we are coming to dish with sugar syrup. So first let me take some cardamom powder and put it into the sugar syrup. And now we are gonna take our golden brown dal balls. So after six to five minutes, the the moong dal balls will absorb the syrup. So this is how it looks after absorbing. So now our tasty, delicious, sweet rasbara is ready to eat. Thank you. This act is called saurat. I have a cousin brother Pratamesh who loves to do this act and can tell you so much Namaste more about Sakshi. it. Can I do some introduction of saurat to you? Okay, Swara art is a tribal art of Odisha. Swara art looks much like Varli art, but there is a difference between Swara and Varli art. Here I have made a presentation of Swara art for you. Swara tribal art. Welcome dear friends and teachers. Today I am going to show you a presentation on Swara tribal art. Sora art is a tribal art of Sora tribals from Odisha. They draw some figures like people, animals, trees. Here is an example for you. Tribals living in Odisha don't use paints to draw these Sora art paintings. They use natural dyes and shiny white stone powder, colored soil, vermilion and mixtures of taramine seed, flower and leaf extracts. They use bamboo shoots as painting brush. Sora art may look easy but it is very hard and complicated to draw and will take hours or days to complete a Sora art painting. The end. Dhanyavado. Thank you. I will now show you a model of tribal house. Tribal houses are made of sticks and straws. Thank you. I wish I am in class 4D. My topic is weapons of offense and defense trap for catching small animals. Sword, talwar, it is a weapon was used which was used in old time. A sword is a weapon used for hunting or attacking. The blade of a sword is long than a knife and it has a very pointed tips. Gun, Bana, it is a weapon which was used in old times and also used nowadays. A rifle or gun is a weapon which is used for hunting or killing. It uses gunpowder to fire. Shield, a shield is a weapon which has used in old times and also used now. A shield protects the person who is behind, the, behind it from deadly attack. Bird trap. A bird trap is used to catch and hunt birds. It was used in old times for wood and meat of birds. Thank you. I'm Sandy Patidat from Class 4D of Pavar Public School. Suprabhat, Shubhakal. Good morning everyone. Now I am going to present an introduction of Orisha Tribal Handicrafts. Types of handicraft. There are different types of handicraft as poetry, plaster and paper mats, stone work, stone craft or stone work, we can say anything, leaves, straw and dried flower, metal. Poetry. Example of poetry is a variety of fruit tiles, utensils such as pots, bowls, plates and bra and cooking stoves. Plaster and paper match. Plaster are tools used for applying the paper plasters, twigs, fingers, gold hands and wax. 
Paper mat, paper based clothes and different kind of natural fiber are used to make paper mat. Stone craft, grey stone which take a deep on a deep dark polish while breeds and figurines are carved out of soft stones available in many shades of orange. Leaf straw and dried flowers. From farm labors and cattle grazers, we are had made of dried flowers. Metal example. For the example of the metal is um, flexible brass fishes, snake and crocodiles. Thank you. Dhanyabad. Dhanyabad. We are going to tell about Dokra art. Dokra art is a non-ferrous metal casting using lost wax casting technique. The sort of the metal casting has been used in India for over 4000 years and still used. The one of the earliest known lost wax artifacts is the dancing girl of Mohanjo Dal. There are two main processes of lost wax casting, solid casting and hollow casting. While the former is predominant in the south of India and later is more common in central and eastern India. Solid casting does not use a clay coat but instead of solid piece of wax to create the mold. Hollow casting is more traditional method and uses the clay coat. Dokra Damar tribes are the main traditional metallismics of West Bengal and Odisha. Their technique of lost wax casting is named after the tribe, hence Dokra metal casting. The tribes extend from Jharkhand to West Bengal and Odisha. Members are distant cousins of Chattisagar Dokras. A few hundred years ago, the Dokras of Central and Eastern India tribal south as far as Kerala and north as far as Rajasthan and hence are now found all over India. Do Dokra or Dokra craft from the Davripur, West Bengal is popular recently. Adilabad Dokra from Telangana got geographical indicator tag in 2018. Adivasi Mela The Adivasi Mela is a tribal exhibition and festival that is held annually at Bhuneswar's Adivasi Exhibition Ground. It is considered to be the oldest festival of the tribal communities in the region and brings together around 62 tribes from across the state. The fair aims at showcasing the culture, tradition and lifestyle of tribal people. The exhibiting their products would have different stalls of products including jewellery, tribal food and various handicrafts items would be available at the stalls. Folk stories are also part of the art and drama scene of the tribes and us and I asked Saharsh and his friends if they can give us glimpse of the same. They will present the intro and the two folk tales in Hindi and Marathi. Namaskar Bandhugana. Let me tell you a bit about the history of folk tales in Odisha. Like other parts of India, Odisha is rich in folklore. It is found that folklore has been incorporated in abundance in the epics and kavyas of ancient Odia literature. There was considerable focus on the cultural past of Odisha during the colonial phase in the 19th and 20th century AD. Colonial historians like A. Shirling, Bhabani Bandhupadhyay, John Beams, Pyari Mohan Acharya, etc. reconstructed different phases of the history of Odisha on the basis of traditional accounts and folklore. In the in late 19th century, it was Gopal Chandra Praraj, an eminent writer who planned collection and study of Odia folklore on a large scale, and the volume Utkal Kahani published by him is still popular and has one appreciation. In the 20th century, newspapers like Utkala Deepika, Sambad Bahika, Asha and Samaj, and Odia magazines like Utkal Sahitya, Satyabadi, presented the folklore in different ways. The great writers in Odisha, in this phase of awakening, who had given considerable emphasis on the folklore were Rudra Narayan Sadangi, Jagbandhu Singh and Gobandhu Das. 
The real interest in folklore of Odisha began with the publication of Satyabadi, a periodical by Gobandu Das, who wanted to highlight the folklore for articulating the spectacular past of Odisha. Dhanyabad. Namaskar. Hello everyone, my name is Ishita Pitre and today my classmate Dhru is going to share a story in Hindi. But first, I will give you a short introduction. This is a folk story from Odisha and this folk story's name is When Humans Had Tales. In Eastern India, the Sora tribes of the Odisha believe that there was a time when humans had tales. But, but as the humans increased, the tales fell off. How? Do you want to know? Well, let's listen to this interesting story. Namaskar, मेरा नाम ध्रुव चंदा है मैं कक्षा चौथी डो में पढ़ता हूँ आज मैं आपको उड़ीसा की एक लोक कथा सुनाने वाला हूँ जिसका नाम है जब मनुष्यों को पूछ थी एक समय था जब इंसानों की लंबी पूछ होती थी कि वे फर्श की सफाई करते थे लेकिन जल्द ही इसने बहुत सारी समस्याएं पैदा कर दी मानव आबादी बढ़ती रही और पूछों का प्रबंधन करना वास्तव में कठिन हो गया बाजारों शादियों और यहाँ तक कि अपने अपने घरों में भी लोग एक दूसरे की पूछ पर लगातार कदम रख रहे थे वे एक दूसरे पर चिल्लाने लगे और खुद को बहुत चोट पहुंचाने लगे जीवन वास्तव में कठिन और दर्दनाक हो गया एक दिन किटुंग देव एक छोटे से बाजार में गए जब वह कुछ खरीद रहे थे तो किसी ने उनकी पूछ पर पैर रख दिया वह दुर्घटनाग्रस्त हो गए और जमीन पर गिर गए उनका चेहरा चट्टान से टकराया और उनके दो दांत टूट गए इस घटना को देखने वाले लोग हंस पड़े किटुंग को बहुत क्रोध और अपमान हुआ उन्होंने अपनी पूछ खींची और उसे दूर फेंक दिया और सब पूछो ने यह देखा और डर के मारे अपने आप ही नीचे गिर गए वे भाग गए और फिर कभी नहीं लौटे धीरे धीरे किटुंग भगवान की कटी हुई पूछ एक ताड़ के पेड़ में बदल गई और बाकी आदमी की पूछ घास के पत्ते में बदल गई इस घास का उपयोग बाद में झाड़ू बनाने में किया जाता था जैसे इंसान की पूछ जमीन को झाड़ती थी अब उस झाड़ू से जमीन को झाड़ा जाता है धन्यवाद When I am Utkash from 4D, I will introduce the story you are going to hear. It is below that in the Munda tribe that there were sun sun. But today we can just see one sun shining bright in the sky. Do you know why? It is an interesting tale. Listen to the flock story. Sun sun, parad air by Raju. चालू लगे सर्वत्र गोंधल झाला मार्ग काढण्यासाठी सर्व प्राण्यांनी एक बैठक घ्यायची ठरवले त्यातला एक ससा पुढे आला आणि त्या सातव्या सूर्याबद्दल सांगितले तो सातवा सूर्य टेकडीच्या मागे लपला आहे पण त्याला कोण हाकमार नन सिंह म्हणाला सिंह जंगलाचा राजा होता सिंह म्हणाला मी त्याला हाक मारेन सिंह पुढे गेला आणि म्हणाला सूर्य सूर्य परतीये आम्हाला तुमचा प्रकाश दाखव पण सूर्याने त्याचे ऐकले नाही पुढे हत्ती आला त्याने आपली सोंड वर केली आणि कर्ण वाजवला आणि म्हणाला सूर्य सूर्य परत ये आम्हाला तुमचा प्रकाश दाखव पण सूर्याने त्याचेही ऐकले नाही पुढे मोर आला तो नाचला आणि म्हणाला सूर्य सूर्य परत ये आम्हाला तुमचा प्रकाश दाखव सूर्याने त्याचेही ऐकले नाही एका मागे एक सर्वत्र प्राणी हाक मारत होते पण सूर्याने त्यांचेही ऐकले नाही शेवटी एक कोंबड्याने सूर्याला बोलवायची ऑफर दिली सगळे हसले सिंह म्हणाला कोंबड्यालाही परवानगी आहे सिंह नेता होता कोंबडा पुढे गेला आणि म्हणाला कुकडू कु सूर्य टेकडीच्या मागून जरा वर आला आणि मग दुसऱ्यांदा कोंबडा आरवला त्यावेळीस थोड्या दीटपणे कुकडू कु आणि 
तीन सूर्य अजु थड़ा वर आला तीसरा वेस को एकदम जोर हरवला कुकड़ुकू सूर्य उचस्वी प्राणना आनंद मनसाला आराम भेटला मनसान सूर्य न मारने के निर्णय घोज सका को सूर्य उगवत Would you like to know about tribal jewelry? Yes. Then come to meet my friend Namish, who knows lot about it. Hello, my name is Namish Prafa. I am going to present art integration project on tribal jewelry. Odisha has been a land of homegrown fashion, and only recently it is mainstreaming into fashion with us. Many as 62 tribes exclusive to the place. There are many tribal antique pieces, the craftsmanship that comes with it, like in jewelry, utensils, vase, etc. Here's how Odisha's tribal jewelry is gaining popularity in modern times. Bangles made from aluminium, brass, and silver mini. Tribal women wear Silver bangles with beautiful design carved over them. Sometimes the design is made with spackle. Finger rings of less popular jewelry pieces. The finger rings have the most interesting story and design. In modern time, tribal finger ring alone is enough to lift any poor clothing piece and fire it up to a whole new level. Hair clips. About 50 designs of hair clips made of iron, brass, copper, etc., are used by court women. The hair can add vibrancy to any hairstyle, giving it an edgy look that looks with even the modern outfits. Dhanyawad. Thank you, Namish. So let's move on. In the Odisha tribal jewelry, today I will tell you all about the bangles and the hairstyles. First, we will talk about the bangles. Then we shall talk about the hairstyle. Let me show you the bangles I am wearing right now. And this is the hairstyle. So let's move on. The tribal jewelry bangles are made of aluminium, brass, and silver. Crafted with plain design and intrigue or intrigued work, these pieces are a must-have for fashion enthusiasts. The contemporary jewelry can complete any Indian attire as well com- complement as pieces of Indo-Western fashion trend. Let's move on with the tribal hairstyles. The tribal jewelry hairbands have the most interesting stories and designs. In the modern era, a tribal hairband is alone is enough to lift any dull clothing piece and fire it up to a whole new level. The two most common hairstyles are as the women wear hairbands made of beads, or they make buns which are a little on the left or on the right, and attach many pins called sitna. Here are the examples. Wait. Did you all just hear sipna? What is that? So, sipna is the clips, the pins which they wear. To know more about that, my my friend Sampada will tell you. So, thank you. Over to you, Sampada. Hello, friends. Today I will tell about hair clip. Purpose of hair clip. Long hair is 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 indicate of hell and beautiful. The dungri hung decorate their heads with with long hair clip and flowers and pins. Hound girl decorate their heads with with hair clips. Thank you.
everyone. Today I will tell you about what is our travel jewelry. Let I will tell you what I have it. I have wear this jewelry and this necklace. The travel jewelry is jewelry made by indigenous tribal artists using local material like color thread, aluminum rings, and designer stones. Thank you. Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. My name is Anamya Golub from Class 4D. Today I am going to tell you about Odisha tribal jewelry earring. Earring is probably the most vibrant of tribal jewelry earrings. Come in all shapes, sizes, and forms. Available in metal option. They can be encrusted and wound with beads and shells. They are worn in different parts of the ear and and are a perfect complement for rustic runways. This is one type of earring called video. You can see it in the picture. I have tried to create the similar earring by my own. Q Murmas are set of small, large, silver or gold ring worn in the ear. I have also created large silver earring. You can see it in the picture along with original one. This is another type of earring. You can see it in the picture. Women of the Surya tribe can be recognized by the large wooden ear disc. The upper part of the ear is also decorated with numerous rings. Artisan use aluminium, brass, copper, silver and other locally available metals to make most of the jewelry. They also use bit shells, wooden pieces that are available around them to make the jewelry for daily uses. Thank you. Wasn't that in interesting? Hmm, I can hear some music in the distance. Do you want to know about our unique music? Good morning, my name is Avishi, I am from Odisha and today I will tell you about musical instruments and their tribes. The different types of tribes are Gons tribes, Bhils tribes and Khasi tribes. Tribal house is a subgenre of house music which combines traditional house music with world music. It is similar in structure to deep house but provides elements of ethnic or indigenous musical percussion. Songs in a tribal society are mostly functional and often have the sanctity of a sun manual right. Such are, for instance, the songs which accompany on these events are marriage and death. Thank you. Good morning teachers and dear friends. Today I am going to tell you about tribal instruments of Odisha. Tribal instruments. Instruments of Odisha. Musical instruments every time remind the culture of our land. Musical instruments are usually homemade that are developed among most common people. Most instruments made from wood, metal, clothes and other materials. Tamak is a stick struck double headed drum of the Santal people of India. The Santal are musicians, dancers, and artists by birth par excellence. The beats of the Tamak and Tamdak call the Santal people together. The body of the drum is made from metal and shaped like a large bowl. The body of the drum is made from thin metal sheets covered by a bullock head and shaped like a large bowl. The tamak is played by two wooden sticks.
Mardala. Mardala is traditionally used as an instrument in the uh, ancient classical music of the state Orissa. It is used in a wide range of traditional art forms of Orissa, including Gopita, Mahari, Odissi dance, Bhagavata, Tungi, Sakhinata, Prahalada, Nakata, Ramalia, Krusnalia, Rama Nakata, Sahi Jata, Medha Nacha, Bharatalia, Bhukatliya Nada, Odissi Kidnata, and many more. Mardala is uh, made of Kahidra also known as Kahira, or the wood of Akikya, a Katichu. Gochi Baja The Gochi Baja is a traditional percussion instrument belonging to the state of Odisha. It has a great role of the traditional life of Odisha in every way. It is considered auspicious and is usually played in marriage processions. Music is not only played only during the marriage but also during death. Thank you. Music is the heart and soul of Odisha life. Odissi music is originated from the eastern state of Odisha. Odissi music has a history spanning for over 2000 years. 
Odissi musicians from the state of Odisha have made immense contribution to the field of music down the ages. Some of the most prominent among Odissi musicians are discussed below. Ramahari Das is an expert in both Odissi music as well as medieval Oriya literature. He has received many awards. His Sangeet Sangya, published in 1996, is still considered to be the most definitive textbook on Odissi music. Jaydev is believed to have made the most significant contribution in the field of Odissi arts. He is the author of Epoch Making Gita Govindna. Rini Charan Patra is one of the foremost exponents and practitioners of Odissi music. He can be said to have introduced the southern style of Odissi singing. He has written books on Odissi music and Hindustani music in Odia. Thank you everyone. Oh, hearing all that music, I want to dance. Let's join Anjani and her friends to know about the many dance forms in our tribes and maybe even share some dances with you. Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about Odisha tribal dance style. I will start with introduction. Dalkhai is the most popular tribal dance of Odisha. Its performance is very common on all other festivals. This is mostly danced by young women. During this dance, men join them as drummers and musicians. The dance they place the legs close together and bend their knees. In another movement, they move forward and backward in a half sitting position. Sometimes they make concentric circles clockwise and anticlockwise. The women generally dress themselves in colorful samba puri saris and wear a scarf on the shoulders holding the ends below in the both hands. I will perform a dance on Odisha tribal dance. Some of my friends are going to perform some dance styles of Odisha tribal dance. So now I will start with the performance. <laughs>
ear bearings and all my fellow classmates. I hope you all enjoyed the presentation on the topic of Odisha. I hope we all got to know more about the tribes and culture of Odisha. A special thanks to all the parents who helped the children with excellent presentations. And we are all thankful.